Welcome back to the premier exhibitor spotlight here at the Black Lux event, that Black Lux Expo. I am your host, Maine Terry, with Ebony Ascent Media Company, and here I have with me Rob from RLT Beard Co. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing good. How about you all? I'm doing all right, man. Good. So I wanted to ask you, so RLT Beard Co., mm. what's the story behind that? But the main story behind it is I wanted to keep a, the business in the family name. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad gave me his name. So I just used our initials, which is Robert Lewis Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. He's a senior, I'm a junior. I didn't want to put that on the business. So I just used our first, last name and middle name. And that's how I came up with Birko. and just ran with it like that. It's, it's one of those things that I just thought it was only right to homage um, my father okay. and the family. Yeah, so, excellent, excellent. Yeah. And that's kind of what we need, right? Um, yeah. You know, we were discussing before the shoot just, you know, how we, we need more representation and we yeah. need more, you know, black businesses uh, to help expand and, and help uplift our community. So I'm glad to see that you're doing it. Thank you. And, and you were telling me earlier that you're actually not from High Point, correct? No, I'm, I'm not from High Point. This is my... Third time being up this way. I've been with the Black Lux and doing it. Whitney, she's been very nice. And I just like High Point. High Point is a good area. They're trying to build it back up. So I said, why not? Originally from Raleigh. We stay in Clayton now. So I'm all over North Carolina pretty much. But, okay, uh, excellent. So yeah. we even have black owned businesses and vendors coming down from Raleigh to High Point, yeah. you know, just to, to capitalize on the growth and the, and the camaraderie that's, you know, starting to develop here in the community. So with RLT Beard Co., what 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 do you actually provide for the, for the community? The services that I provide is beard products. Pretty much everything that I make, I make in the house, everything is all natural. I try to get away from the chemicals or the store-bought shelf labels that's put out there for the black community especially. Our skin is not meant for those alcohols and those different type of chemicals that it look nice on the commercial and on shelf but really it doesn't do anything for our skin right yeah so we we you know it's, I, i'm assuming that your products they help you know moisturize and take um, care of the skin I, a lot of the oils are bombs if you're familiar with them the oil protects the skin mm -hmm. and then the bomb is to protect you from the outside elements so a lot of people just put grease on and don't understand what it actually does. Oh. And the bomb will promote growth. I will say everything is genetics, but it will have you a healthy beard and it will promote growth and it nourishes and take, it gives you an overall healthy beard. It really does. Split ends, dryness, I take care of all that. I also have pre-treatment uh, on a nighttime treatment for those who have eczema, razor bumps. A lot of things I tell guys is just giving them the education about it because if I can't go get my hair cut my barber and I see him take his clippers are loose and clean them, mm -hmm. then I don't want that in my skin because it's just going to ruin my skin and my beard. Yeah. That dirt that he cut somebody else's hair yep. is going right back into yours. Yeah. So I cut my own hair and I do my own beard. So I kind of got away from it. I have a barber, but I kind of got away from it just on the journey that I'm on mm -hmm. to try to stay as you know natural as possible. Okay. So I know you say that uh, it's, it's the beard company. Yes. But so it sounds like more you promote skin care. Yeah, it, it is with the skin, the oil. I also have a shampoo and a leave-in conditioner. So a lot of it is it's for the skin because the healthier your skin is, the healthier your beard would be. Okay. So that was the main thing is just giving the all types of beard, short, long, scraggly, whatever. What about uh, non-existent? Even Look, <laughs> let me tell you something, though. Even with non-existent, the oil can actually help your skin also. Mm -hmm. My wife, for instance, uses, I have a nighttime treatment like for razor bumps and stuff like that. So women are actually starting to use the product for their skin. I never attended for that really though. And it was putting my wife through a trial, you know, a couple of weeks and, you know, see how it works. And it's, it's, it's different, man. It's, it's amazing to see women also using the product, but it's really meant for men, all types of men. I use it on my hair. Uh, I know I can't tell, I don't have a whole lot, but I use it on my hair as well. And it's, it's, it's nice, man. Okay. It's, it's really yeah. nice. See, that's what I was thinking because I shave my head as you mm -hmm. guys can see. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm always on search for something that you know, helps with the razor bumps and prevents the rashing. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to wait, you know, five, six, seven days before I can shave again. And right. Nobody wants the scruff. You either, you know, you right, either, right, right. You either want the nice edge, <laughs> nice cut, or you, you know, you want it bald. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I can't keep it bald as, as often as I would like. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually very interested in trying out your product. Thank so you. I, I, I'm you. glad Thank to see that you're here Thank at the you. event today. Thank you. I'm glad for y'all having me. Like I said, it's the education, man. We when you Once you teach a guy that he doesn't have to put $200 shoes on, and then look 
in his face and tell that he didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's it's amazing, man. The education of the way we look and our presence is important. So basically what I'm trying to do, I, I didn't want to go in the store and buy something off the shelf. I wanted something that I can use for myself and that would be used for all types of beers. And that's what I came up with. And speaking of education, what exactly are you doing out here today? Like, are you providing some of that education or what? I am. I have a couple things on my table. Just a little knowledge of how to take care of your beer from morning to afternoon, how to nourish your beer. Because, you know, you can put water, like, our body needs water, you know. And and it's so in so many ways Mm -hmm. that... Your beard needs water. Your face needs water. If your beard is dry and brittle, that means there's no moisture in it whatsoever. So I, I tend to, you know, look at the customer and, you know, kind of prejudge, you know, a little bit of, you know, what they're looking for and what issues they may be having because I've been through them issues myself. So a lot of the education that I try to give is solely based on how are you taking care of your skin? What's your routine that you may have? Maybe I can give you some little advice. Hey, change it up and try this instead of what you're doing. And if it doesn't work, hey, we can figure something. I give a lot of consultations and, you know, I tell customers they can call me at any time or I can meet you. You don't have to buy anything. If I could just come to you and spill that education out there, the the product necessarily will sell itself. I don't don't. Yeah. So you even do a house call? Yeah, if if I got to, that's that's what we do. That's okay. what we do in my that's company. Ex- no, that's so. excellent service. And like like you said er, earlier, you know, we we actually need to be able to spread the knowledge and, and right. help uplift the community and make sure, sure that everyone is is able to be presentable and confident in their appearance and confident in, in their skincare and their health right. routine. Right. So I appreciate it. It's a, it's thank a you. great service that you're Thank you. Thank you. Short story: I had a guy that, at the last Black Lust that he couldn't use essential oil. Essential oils were really harsh to his skin. Mm-hmm. So I asked him, "Hey, if I can come up with something that's." unscented and doesn't have any oils but it still do the job would you buy it and he said sure so i got his information i went home that night spent many nights up just researching different things because a lot of things have these smaller words or these big words that nobody knows so i got to go look them up yeah, to see what that down. break it down yeah, right right yeah. right so i'm breaking it down and um i came up with an unscented oil and balm that really I made strictly for him, but now it's selling because if somebody don't want to try a scent, I still can offer them something else. So it, from him alone started the unscented part of my, my journey. So And I use it myself because sometimes certain scents may not go right with your chemistry. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's too hot, something's too strong, it may not mix well. So something that doesn't have a scent at all you can't go wrong with it. All right, Rob, a man of science, a it, man of many talents it, here. That's what I try to do. So it, I have to, it's very important to me that everything is taken with, you know, some importance. All, All right. right. Well, Rob, I appreciate you sitting down. Do yes. you have any last Thank words you. that you want to leave with the audience? Come check me out. We out here at the Black Lux. It's, it's, it was raining, but hey, still come on out. A lot of vendors out here. We all sharing love and enjoying just talking to you all. So come out and check my booth out, RLT Beard Co. You can see me on Facebook, same. Go check out the store, www.rltbeardco.com. A lot of good knowledge on there if you not, if you don't even buy anything. It's knowledge on there for you to receive. So thank you. All right, Rob. Well, I appreciate you sitting down with us for a few minutes just to talk about your company, your business. Stay tuned for another premier exhibitor here at the Black Lux Expo brought to you by Ebony Ascent.